Hey, this is Mr. Smith, and this is a tutorial on how to do picture in picture, which you can see right now because right over here is some video of the last time I was playing Minecraft. Oh, um, it's not there yet. Well, we can fix that. We can add that. Let's do that now. Of course, the first thing we're going to need to do is to import everything into iMovie, which, as you can see, we've done already just to save time. Now, I'm going to take this clip of me talking about Minecraft, and I'm going to drag this into my project. There we go. And I've covered this in a previous tutorial, but I'll mention it again here. If you press Command, comma, it will bring up your iMovie preferences. Make sure Show Advanced Tools is checked. You can't do this without that being checked. There we go. Now I'm going to take a clip of this. I'm not going to take the whole thing. See, this is only 25 seconds long, so let's take 25 seconds of this. and drag this up, plop it in, pick picture in picture, and now it's superimposed on top. Now by default it puts it over in this top right corner. I can click and drag this to where I want it to be. I can even click on the corners to make it larger or smaller as I see fit, which is kind of convenient. And I have more options as well. If you take a look, it's hard to see, but we can go in and change all the different settings that we would normally be able to change on this for like this movie here. We can change them on this movie here also. So I can go into clip and I can apply different video effects I can, okay, PIP stands for picture in picture. If I select dissolve, I have a timer here. This will make it fade in or fade out, which is kind of nice. I can put a border on it if I want to have a border to make it stand out a little more. I can change the border color depending on what my background looks like. I'm going to leave the border off. And now, if I go through and play this from the beginning, you can see right now, because right over here is some video of the last time I was playing Minecraft. Oh, um, it's not there yet. Well, actually it is, but oh well. Now, you can also add other things. You don't need to add video for picture in picture. Let's say you would like to have a watermark in your video. One moment, this is getting annoying with my head off the frame like that. Let's go to cropping and rotation and let's tell it. There we go. Done. I just moved that up higher. There. I can drag images in as well. Now something I made in a previous video was my title for my awesome Minecraft adventure. I can drag this in also, like so. Drag it right on top. It's going to ask me the same thing. Do I want it to be green screen or whatever? I want it to be picture in picture. And shows up in that same spot again. I can drag this down into a corner. I could make this smaller. Ken Burns is probably actually still on. Cropping Ken Burns rotation. Let's set that to fit. Done. There we go. And I can actually extend the length of this. Let's 
I've showed how to do this by dragging before. I'm going to instead change the duration. Let's change this to 20. 20 seconds. Done. All right. So now I'm going to have that little watermark hey, in the corner. Hey, this is Mr. Smith. And Let's mute that for 20 seconds of the video. So you can watermark your videos. You could put a URL in there or the name of your movie making company or whatever you felt should go in that little corner. Now you can also do something which I think is kind of neat. Let's get rid of this one. I made a different version of this picture. I uh, actually went into GIMP to do this, but you can do this in Inkscape also, where I changed the opacity of it to 50%. Now, there's a lot of programs that don't handle opacity. They don't have that setting in there, so they can't change anything. But iMovie will support that. So I saved that particular file as title 50, and as you can see, it's a little translucent. You can see through it just a bit. I can drag that in. Picture in picture. Make sure Ken Burns is off, set to fit. Change the clip adjustments. Let's have that be 22. All right. And now, as you can see, you can see me through the image a little bit. So that's kind of neat as well. So there you go. That's how you can do picture in picture or add a watermark in iMovie. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.